Hey there, my spooky, scary skeletons. It's Chloe in Real Life, and welcome back to another episode of my Halloween Spooktacular. Today, I am going to show you how to make these super cute and super easy spider web treats. I absolutely love them. They'd be awesome for a party because they're very fast to make and they're pretty tasty. So, let me show you how to make them. All right, so the things you're going to need for our spider webs is a sandwich baggie, some white chocolate chips, some pretzel sticks, and a cookie sheet with parchment paper. So, let's make them. All right, so I have dumbed down my white chocolate chips into a microwave safe cup, and I'm going to pop this into the microwave for 30 seconds on high, and then after that, you're gonna do intervals of 15 seconds at 50% power until it's completely melted, so. Let's go. All right, so now that my chocolate is totally melted, I'm just going to put my sandwich bag in here because it makes it so much easier to spoon in. And then we are just going to put our chocolate inside the cup. All right, so now it is time to lay our pretzels out. So I'm just going to take about five and we're just going to do two here to make them like perpendicular and then add some in between each segment. Alright, so now we are going to cut our piping bag. And now we are just going to pipe on our spider webs. So you're going to want to do a big dollop in the center. And then you're just going to want to drag it out like this. And just make a spiral shape. And then just connect it at one of the edges. And there you go, a spider web. Alright, so now that my spider webs have been made, I'm going to pop them in the fridge for a little bit to let the chocolate harden, and so they will be all ready. Alright, so I had an idea while these were cooling that I could take black food coloring and a toothpick and paint on some little spiders. So I'm going to try these. These two have cooled, so... I'm gonna try to paint on a spider. So here is how they turned out. I absolutely love them. I think they're so cute. This is a great, great thing for younger kids in the kitchen because they are super simple and you don't necessarily have to draw the spider on. You could find little spider gummies or even maybe I think they sell spider sprinkles you can put on or you can use some fake spiders. You could get some edible markers and draw them on, which would be a lot easier than using a toothpick. 
Um, but I totally, totally love these and they were so easy to make. Oh my gosh. This has probably been my favorite thing to make so far because it's been so easy. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And comment down below if you're scared of spiders. I'm a little bit scared. If it's a really big spider, I'm terrified. I am done if it's a big spider. But if it's just a little one, I think I'm alright. So don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a spooky video that's just like this one. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at CleanWell910. And I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to stay spooky. Bye!